Hi, it's Sachi. In this video, I'll show you how I made this linen dress. It has a fitted bodice with shirt back panel for closer fit and decorative ties you can tie in the back or front. I drew a line with chalk directly on my fabric using my measurements and tried to make it a minimal waist project. When I use cotton or linen fabric like I did for this project, I pre-wash my fabric in the way I want to wash the finished garment. I cut out the biggest pieces first. To measure yourself for the body's front, first you want to tie a string around your waist for a reference point. Put the zero end of the measuring tape at where you want your dress top to be. Measure down to the apex, under bust, and to the waistline. And then transfer those measurements to the fabric. Add half inch or one centimeter seam allowance to the top and the bottom edge. Measure between the bus tops. Divide the measurement into two, add half inch seam allowance and mark it at the bust level. Measure the same amount at the top and connect with the bust point. At the waist level, measure half inch less than this measurement. And connect them with the straight line. Measure 2 inches from this marking for the bust shaping. I use 2 inches for a D cup, but you can use less or more depending on your shape. From the bust point, draw a curved line to the under bust level. Then continue to the marking with the straight line. and smooth out the sharp points. Measure one inch here and connect to the bust point with the straight line. Measure front bust circumference between the side seam of the top you're wearing. Then continue to measure the whole bust circumference. Measure a half of the front bust measurement at the bust level and add 2 inches for the seam allowance and ease. Half inch here, half inch here, half inch here, and half inch ease. Square up 3 inches from this point. and connect with the top of the princess seam with a slightly curved line like this. Measure your waistline. Now divide the waist measurement into four and mark it on the waist level. Skip at the first waist shaping mark and continue at the second marking. Add two inches for the seam allowance and ease. Connect this point to the bust level point with a straight line. Now measure your side seam length, add 1 inch for the top and the bottom seam allowances, and compare the measurement with the side seam length on your draft. Take off any excess lengths at the bottom and redraw the waistline. Bust level and under bust level are good places to make notches so you can match them later for sewing the curved seam. For the bodice back, we need two side backs and one shirt panel. 
I move the same measurement down to save the fabric space, but you can also just continue next to the front bodice draft. From the bottom edge of the fabric, I measured 9.5 inches, which is a side measurement plus 1 inch, and drew a straight line. Divide your back bust measurement into 4 and add 1 inch, and mark it here, and here, to make a rectangle. I measured half inch at the bottom corner to give a slight shaping to the side seam of the back panel. From the leftover fabric, cut out shoulder straps and pockets if you like. I want to cut out the bodice lining from the same fabric, so I layered one more folded piece of fabric in the exact same size under the drafted piece. Folded side is on the left. To cut out four layers of fabric accurately, I place pins inside the drafting lines. These pins will hold the layers together while you're cutting. Don't forget to cut the notches around the bust area. I know it was a little hard to see on the yellow fabric, so here is the draft and numbers I used. It is specific to my measurements, but if you have 37 inch bust, it might work for you too. From the bottom right corner squares, I made pocket pieces. I drew around my hand to make a shape like this. To make two pockets, you need four pieces. For a shirt back panel, you need one rectangle piece. I cut out 10 inches by 13 inches. To do the sharing, wind sharing elastic on your bobbin by hand. Pop in the bobbin like usual and use regular thread as a top thread. I hemmed the top edge of the panel first and used my fabric chalk to mark rows of sharing lines half inch apart. You're stitching with the right side up because you want the sharing elastic on the wrong side. When you're done stitching, hover your iron over the shirt piece and hit the steam button. This will make the shirt piece shrink up more. Steam from the wrong side too. Sew around the big ribbon tie pieces, leaving one side open. Flip the pieces right side out. I'm using a vintage tube turner to speed up the process, but you can totally do this by hand. Push out the corners nicely and iron the pieces. Sew two long sides of shoulder straps, right sides together, flip it out and iron as you did on the ribbon ties. When you sew in the princess seams, always put the side you want to ease in on the bottom because the sewing machine will help you ease the fabric on the bottom.
I decided to put some fusible tape at the top edge so it won't stretch out over time. If you don't have fusible tapes, you can just cut strips of interfacing or saw cotton tapes along the seams to keep them from stretching. I put the bodice pieces together and did the same thing to the lining pieces. And then I noticed I forgot to do something, so time for seam ripping. I needed to send with the big ties to the side seam of the bodice. Now I restitched the side seams with the ties. I can add the shirt panel to the back. On the shoulder straps, sharp angled corner is supposed to be closer to the center back and the flat sides go to the front. On the back, I placed the strap at the edge of the side back, right next to but not on the shirt panel. The bodice is put together, now it's a good time to try it on to see the fit. I was generally happy with the fit. Just the straps were too long, so I decided to cut them by an inch. I also didn't like how weak the back panel elastic felt, so I decided to remake the piece with some more rows of shirring. This time I used the same dimensions to cut out the piece, but made the rows 3 8 of an inch apart instead of half an inch. And I'm much happier with the result. For the easy pocket attachment, sew and overlock pocket openings to the skirt size. Put right sides together and sew the skirt size and pocket pieces in one path with half inch seam allowance. Overlock all the layers together. Make two rows of long machine stitches near the top of the skirt. Grab and pull the bottom thread of both stitches and gather up the waist. Put the bodice in the skirt and distribute together evenly and sew them together. Put the bodice lining on the bodice, right sides together, align the seams, and sandwich the shoulder straps. Start from the front, and when you come to the shirt back panel, Put all the seam allowance away from the shirt piece and fold half inch seam allowance on the bodice lining.
stitch the bodice and bodice lining together with half inch seam allowance. Under stitch the bodice lining. Put all the seam allowances and lining to your right and from the right side of the fabric, stitch close to the previous stitch. Overlock the skirt and shirt panel together. Fold the seam allowances on the bodice lining in the way it would be finished and grab the waist seam allowances of the bodice, skirt, and the bodice lining together. You're going to sew this waist seam on the sewing machine, pulling out the fabric as you go. You can pin the beginning so you're not confused with which size of fabric go together. You want to sew exactly on top of the previous stitches that hold the skirt and the bodice together. Stitch about 4 inches, stop, and align the vertical stitching lines together. When you get to the point where you cannot pull out the fabric anymore, start the same way from the other side to meet where you left off. Now the waistline is nicely finished inside. Fold these seam allowances and hand stitch them closed. I tried the dress on and shortened the dress by 2 inches before hemming. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!